And moving on to some national news, people across Florida are speaking out against new immigration laws set to go into effect next month. Protesters are upset about new rules for workers and people seeking health care. Beth Rousseau has more from Tampa. These are the sounds of a community coming together against Florida's new immigration law. It's a matter of separating families, it's a matter of not being here, and it's a matter of being scared on a daily basis. Senate Bill 1718 requires businesses with 25 or more employees use a federal system to check new workers' immigration status. It restricts social services for immigrants who are undocumented and provides an extra $12 million for a migrant relocation program. Governor Ron DeSantis says the new guidelines are a way to keep undocumented immigrants out. People say, Florida, you're not on the border. What do you care? Well, we had an illegal alien uh, drive a front loader at a construction site that killed a sheriff's deputy. Thursday, protests are planned around the Bay Area and throughout the state. Some businesses are closing for the day in opposition to the new measure. They understand that we are part of this community, that we contribute to this community. Members of the Hispanic community say it's a form of discrimination they won't stand for. And we're going to make our voice heard and we want some changes and we're going to make it known. So.